Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. We're going to be attacking a machine today called OSCP from Vaughn Hub and imported into my VMware Fusion. So this is what it looks like. This is VMware Fusion. Uh, the machine's name is OSCP. Lucky for us, we get a 192.168.5.70 IP address. So that's our victim machine. We're going to be attacking it from our Kali Linux machine. So let's go ahead and um, get into Kali. So first thing first, right, let's make sure that we have connectivity here. So we are pinging our machine. As you can see, we have some connectivity. Uh, Nmap, minus SV for versions, SC. That's our machine. Let's enumerate what is really running on that machine. Uh, what can we find? How can we exploit it? And if you haven't done this before, this is how uh, you can learn some pen testing skills, some uh, offensive security skills. And here is what we have on our machine here. We have uh, port 80, which is open. Um, here's the version of Apache that is running. Oh, and we have slash secret. So this is good stuff. This is already showing me that I have secret.txt and I have robots.txt. So when I get a port 80 open, usually what I do is I go to a web browser, I check out what's running on port 80. In addition to that, I start busting some directories. If you don't know what GoBuster is, we use this one to find any directories that might be available on our website. So this time, this is the usage for GoBuster, right? And I'm going to be going for directories. I'm going to brute force for directories. And so here's my cheat sheet. Go buster, I'm going for directories. And here's my URL, 70. And I want it to go against the wait list. Not derb, but we want the derb buster wait list dot text. So that's what we're going to be using uh, to scan here. We can actually specify what we want to scan, like the type of files or extensions that we want. For example, I want to say I want PHP, I want to see HTML, I want to see JS, for example. I can I want to see. So now we're busting some directories. We are brute forcing that for directories on our victim machine to see what is really running there. So that's what we're doing here. All right, so we are running here. Uh, Dwebuster is going to bust a bunch of directories for me and uh, brute force really and let me know what's there. So WP content shows me that I'm running WordPress, license.txt. What I'm looking for here are things like this, robots.txt. Robots.txt is where you can go and most people would put, you know, a, a list of things that shouldn't be exposed. So that is, that's an interesting one. But this also shows me that I'm running a WordPress so I can, uh, right now, run WP um, scan, which we use for scanning WordPress. So this really is helpful information. Start a new session here. Let's check out port 80 that we found to be open. 192.168.5.70. So I'll show you what I normally do. So when I'm doing this, it's usually on Hack the Box or other platforms. Um, there we go. I go to the website that is being hosted. This is what it was supposed to be for. Uh, you crack this machine, you find the root text, then you get entered for the, for the OSCP voucher that they were giving out. So I think we are too late, but this is what they're hosting on this site, right here. It says just another WordPress site. So WP scan here, still same hint, right? You're looking for version for, so since this is WordPress, Powered by WordPress is a WordPress. Oh, there it is. Here's our login. So now we know we have WP login. We can try to test this page to see if it's vulnerable to SQL injection, all kinds of tests that we can do. But you need to poke around, really find out um, what's going on here. Uh, did, do they have any blog site? I can already tell this, uh, is, this is by admin. Is there anything more that was written by admin? All right, you can view the page source. You really need to check everything. Uh, are they running any funny JavaScript that I can exploit to get in here? Uh, did they leave any dumb notes? 
people leave notes that might let me attack this machine. So these are the things that you need to be looking at. And that's what I normally look for. I see WP login, which I just showed you, WP content, which is the index PHP. Um, let's go and check robots.txt because why not? Uh, at this point, I might be firing uh, Sparter because Sparter is very thorough for me. At least I like Sparter. So I'll fire Sparter. Sparter will be running in the background uh, as I'm poking around manually as well. So there we go. Robots.txt disallow secret.txt. Now I'm more interested. Why, do, why are you saying uh, we should not allow secret.txt? Did you actually disallow secret.txt? Let's go. All right. Isn't this fun? Looks like best 64 and SSH key that was best 64 or that was encrypted. So I've, I've seen a machine on Hack the Box that had something similar to this. So I found this stuff that was I was told not to find. I want to save this hash right here in a file. There are other ways you can curl it or you can save it. There it is. So I want to make sure it's the same. It starts with L. It is in here. And save it. I can use Hashcat to crack this file. Um, I can uh, copy and paste it online. Actually, let's try that. Let's find an online best 64 decoder. This will be impressive if this actually cracks it easily for me. Let's paste it in here. No way. That is amazing. <laughs> that is really amazing. Well, then I guess I don't need to do it from the terminal. Uh, now you saw that I can use it online base 64. And just like we, we said, this is an uh, open SSH key. All right. So let's save it here. Um, key dot RSA. I'm just going to save it here. Now I need to find out who do I sign in as. I was talking too much. I didn't find out who, who the owner of this key is, but we have a, we, we, we have a key here, we should be able to SSH into that machine. Yeah, almost forgot, the only user on this box is OSCP. If only I read this stuff. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> they gave me the name of the user, OSCP. Sign in as OSCP, <laughs> SSH as OSCP with our key. OSCP at 190, um, I think I, need, I can say minus I, key dot RSA. Uh, don't quote me on that, yes. No, okay, I need to fix this. I knew it. I think if I do a 600 here, too high will be bad, key.rsa. I need to do that for it to work. Let's try it again. So what I just did is it gave me the permissions. I, I hope 600 fixes it. I can never remember the proper permissions for that key. But now let's see, bam, we're in guys. We can now try to find out what else can we do? sudo minus l that's my go-to uh, do i have any funny pseudo permissions no so it's asking for my password here so i don't have any usually you see stuff here if, if you own hack the box quick tip sudo minus l and you get some really crazy stuff super easy two minutes and you got root so <laughs> my next one is um before i even start importing any like scripts to find out how to enumerate like lean enum or all those scripts um i need now to find suids let's check suids very quickly and we off we go let's not print it all right we, we would have to go through this and look at them i should i should be able to bring them back to kali but uh let's let's just do that this requires us to know what exactly we are looking at here. What is normal, what is not normal, uh, what sticks out to us. And I'm going to tell you this one looks okay. Then we have bash here. Should bash be here? I should be able to do that. I think if I'm right. For such user bin slash bash and this is a misconfigured in misconfigured bash so if i do that now if i do an id i should be root 
so I found SUIDs bear shouldn't be here, shouldn't be rush, run, running with root permissions, but it is. So by doing that, I managed to get to root. Now I need to find my file. In order to give away that the root flag is loaded, located in the slash root. There we go. Bam. Our goal was to look through this. Um, what I can tell you though, is we could have imported some tools. So there's multiple ways we could have gone through uh, with this. So that was just a quick demo guys. I hope this helps. Thank you very much for joining. We did this in record time. If you come to YouTube, you can let me know how I'm doing. Otherwise, um, I appreciate each and every one of you.